Hey everyone, I'm back to bring you guys a brand new episode installment of X-Men Legends, and it's going to be brought to you guys by GameD1.com. Alright, so, I'm nearly done with all of the junior classes, I just got about four more left to do. I got Assault Free 02, Qualifying Exam Free 00, and I got the challenges for Wolverine and Storm. Looking forward to the Wolverine challenge, honestly, because, well, that's Wolverine. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do Assault Free 02 first. Okay then, I'm going to go ahead and I'll just level up each of the X-Men real fast. Or at least update their stats. Okay, for Jean Grey, I'll go ahead and I'll give her a Psionic Fury. Then next thing I gotta go ahead and focus on Cyclops here. So I'll go ahead and I'll add one over to Leadership. Perfect. And of course I'm gonna go ahead and add one to Agility. Then for Wolverine over here, I'll go ahead and I'll give one over to Focus. Then next I'll go ahead and I'll max out Toughness. There we go, he's nearly at 400 HP. It's pretty good if you ask me. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. The training course has loaded. Okay, so I gotta defeat 30 enemies within 2 minutes. Wow, 30 enemies, okay then. That's actually a challenge, if you ask me. Okay, or maybe not, because I've already taken out 3 guys. We'll make that 4 now. Oh god, you seen the damage of Optic Blast? I swear, it's like it's the great, greatest mutant attack in this game here. I mean, seriously, just look at the damage it does. All you just need to do is just level up that motherfucker and it's going to be great. I mean, sure, it won't do much against people that are energy resistant, but use it against someone that's physical resistant and you've pretty much made yourself a very, 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 very powerful technique here. Okay, so let me see. I'm already halfway there. Which I am liking very much. Let me switch to Wolverine real fast. Okay, these guys are really ganging up on him, huh? Thank God for his healing factor. I need to level up that. Seriously, I have yet to really level up much as much as I do the others. Okay, one more and that's going to do it. Perfect. Alright, I even got an extra credit. And oh my god, I got 10,444 experience points earned. That's the most I've ever earned in this danger room. Wow. Okay, so instead of doing qualified exam fees, zero, zero, I'll go ahead and I'll do challenge Storm. Let's see what type of challenge they have for Storm here. Or at least for the player when controlling Storm. Storm must defeat some soldiers in order to confront a bitter enemy. Oh, I wonder who it is. Let's see. Oh, it's Mero. Okay, then. Defeat 10 enemies, and then of course you gotta defeat Mero, and you gotta complete within 2 minutes, and of course, since it's a challenge mode, basically, Storm has unlimited energy. Alright, then fine, let's go ahead and get this done with. Good thing I've also leveled up her lightning attack. That way, it makes Pikachu lightning look like it's uh, Pichu's lightning. Sorry for the Pokemon reference. I try my best here, people. Okay, already did the objective, and now we gotta take out Mero. You know... Seeing these two face off reminds me of that one X-Men episode. You know, where there was this whole crappy love triangle going on between, you know, Jean Grey, Cyclops, and Wolverine. And then, you know, Cyclops gets captured, and then, you know, Professor Xavier sends a team that's led by Storm here, and then it all ends up with being with Meryl against Storm. In a good old-fashioned staff fight for leadership of the Morlocks. I don't really recall much of that episode, or maybe I do, because it's pretty obvious I remember what happened exactly, or some of the details. But I thought that was a pretty good episode, from a pretty good series that was shown in the 90s. Okay, let's deal with these guys here. Perfect, Dan is going to do some major damage to Mero over here. Yeah, you go ahead and keep throwing those spikes you have, Mero. I'll just go ahead and use some lightning on you. Perfect. And of course I've gotten a, I've gained a goddess medallion. Which goddess I wonder? Aphrodite maybe? Uh, okay, next up is going to be Wolverine. Ooh, and if I win this I get the claws of rage. Oh my god, that just sounds all badass and shit. Wolverine's lives and memories may always be shattered in mystery, but he knows where it began and who is to blame. He wants revenge. Oh, okay then. Let's see. I got to defeat 20 enemies. And defeat the director and do it within two minutes. Okay, then let's do this. I wonder where the director is. Oh, hold on. I think I see him. Okay, could you guys just please back away from Wolverine before he goes all crazy on you? 
Oh, he's already defeated the, you know, the same guy. Oh my god, how many guys did he kill there? Was that four? Or six of them? Please let me get another extreme bar. I really want to do it again. That was amazing. Oh, scratch it. Do it again. <laughs> oh my god. It's like he's a flash when he does that. Ooh, okay, return to menu. Because you know how it is when the flash runs, you just can't see him when he's running. Go so fast and such. All right, last one's going to be qualifying exam. Free zero, zero. Let's do this. I wonder what type of a uh, Sam we're going to be doing here now. Hopefully one that seems to be real easy. Okay, this course simulates an assault on the Weapon X Labs, where new breeds of mutant hunting machines are being manufactured. You must find and destroy all the teleportation devices. Okay, and uh, you also have to defeat sturdy enemies too, so let's go ahead and get this done. Good thing the map is shown for once, instead of me having to press start on the menu and then having to go ahead and just show the map. The least I can do now is just use the map and just find out where those teleporters are while taking out these enemies. Okay, there's one over here. Okay, please back away from Cyclops now. Okay, no one cares about what you're going to do to him. Okay, there should be one over here. Optic blast the shit out of it, and then we can just go over into... Can I jump on it? Okay, I was hoping I can go through that little wall there, that window. That way it can become a little bit of a shortcut for me. And bam, that's all of them. Okay, let's go ahead and switch Rebel Ring. You know what? Why do I switch to Jean Grey? I haven't played as her lately. She seems to be pretty good at it. My god, she's just giving around 80 average hits per hit. That is amazing there. Okay, so how many free more left to defeat? All right, fine then. All right, perfect. Yay, I'm promoted to a senior, and then after I'm done with seniorship, I'm going to be graduated. Oh, wait, that's in high school. Okay, never mind. All right, then, now with that being done, let's see what I got for senior. Okay, so basically there are a few of the danger discs I've attained here. Of course, there's one, two, there's three, there's four I haven't attained right here. So I'll go ahead and I'll do it after I'm done with the mission currently at hand. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and stop this right now. And then I'll go ahead and I'll do on the next mission. Also, note to self, I gotta go ahead and update Magma stats. So, wait, crap, wrong way. We go over here now to the war room. Report to the war room on the double. Okay, people. I managed to track Havoc and the Acolytes for a short time after they left the mansion. They weren't able to catch up with the Sentinels, so we have to assume Magneto is being held prisoner. Did you see where Havoc went once they lost Magneto's trail? Perhaps that would lead us to their headquarters. I tried, but at one point they just vanished. It was like they were there one moment on the next but I on the other hand using the wonders of satellite technology have determined the location of asteroid M you found it Robert after all this time how can you doubt my technical prowess is that what Magneto was calling the mount we believe so it's his home base a space station built into the core of an asteroid that's magnetically suspended several miles above the Earth. From the scans I've run, it appears to be both psionically and magnetically shielded. Okay, so let's hop in the X-Jet, pop up there, and bust some skulls. Because of the magnetic shielding, no spacecraft, not even the X-Jet, would be able to get near Asteroid M. But how does the Brotherhood get there? The Morlocks. I beg your pardon? I heard the Morlocks talking just boat in at me. And that space rock ain't the mount. Uh-uh. The mount's here on Earth. I bet that'd be the only way to transport to Magneto's base. Uh -huh. So what are we waiting for? Let's go pay the Morlocks a visit. 
Okay then, are you sure it's okay to trust Gambit? No, I'm not even going to go ahead and question Gambit's loyalty. He's done a lot for the X-Men, you know? Alright then, let's go ahead and... Well, since we're going to go ahead and head over to the Morlocks again... God help me on this. I'm going to have to keep Storm here. So you're going to have to stick with me, Storm. I'm also going to... Let me keep Jean Grey here too. For Cyclops, I'll go ahead and I'll replace you for someone else. Ooh, I would love to see some of those Morlock brutes face off against Colossus. Colossus. Oh yeah, I can already tell it's going to be chaotic. And of course for you, Wolverine, I'll go ahead and I'll get out good old Gambit. I mean, hell, he was the one who was down there in the first place. I'm sure he could lead us to them easily. Okay, he's got 12 points to spin, so let me go ahead and spin on these guy, this guy real fast. Okay, perfect. And, of course, he's got, like, 12 more to spin. So let's go ahead and at least max out some of his mutant ability. Um, connect boosts give damage for bonus for a time. Hold on. Uh, 52 pickup. Hmm, okay then. Fine. I'll give that to you. I'll also go ahead and I'll give him a kinetic strike then. Next thing I'll do is I'll give him also Staff Master, because let's face the facts, he's carrying a staff like Robin does. And let's see. Should I give him critical strike? No, I'll give the last two over to Toughness and Mutant Mastery. Okay, there we go. And he's got nothing equipped at the time, so let's go ahead and change all. Let's go ahead and give him. Uh, let's see, he doesn't kick. Uh, oh, okay, I guess I can give him the Thunderbirds Breeds. And I can give him also an Agility Hancer. Alright, only thing I have on this section is the Psionic De Deflector. Oh, jeez. I need to get more of those. And I think that's going to be it here. So let's just go ahead and do it. Okay, so we're going back into Morlock's place. Well, I'm not really too worried. I mean, this is the Morlocks here. I was able to have it easy with them the first time. All right, let's make this quick. The sooner we question the Morlocks, the sooner we can find Magneto Base and stop this war before we get started. All right, then. Go ahead and lead the way here, Colossus. Hey, what's up? Want to talk? Move on. I don't want to be seen talking to you. Well, fine, then. I didn't want to talk to you either. Even though it was me who came up to you first and asked for a conversation. Go away. Haven't you caused enough trouble already? Ah. Oh, what's this guy over here? I'm not doing anything wrong here, really. I advise you remove the healer's potions from your pockets and put them back where you found them. Yeah, I suggest you do that because this is a big giant giant guy that could pretty much rip you into strands in seconds. Uh, I was just looking at stuff, honest. I wasn't going to take anything. Call bullshit on that. Tell us what you want. Tell me, take, wait, hold up. Sorry, let me say that again. Tell you what. You give us the information we need, and we won't tell the other Morlocks you are trying to steal from Healer. They tear me apart. Okay, okay, okay. You win. Go ahead. Ask me anything. Where is Healer? Uh, uh, he went to see Mara a few hours ago. He hasn't come back since. He seemed pretty upset. Something about the Morlocks working with the Brotherhood. The Healer wasn't too happy when he heard about that one. Is Healer normally gone this long? Nah, nah, he rarely leaves his shop for more than a few minutes. He's always afraid he'll miss someone who'll need medicine. Merle must have taken him prisoner. Okay then, fine. I mean, I don't even know why she would do that, but screw it. Do you know where Merle is? Nah, I don't know. But she's taken any Morlocks who will follow her and formed a small army. She calls them the Jean Nation. <laughs> why is she doing this? She should know better than to work with the Brotherhood. And she hopes we'll get a piece of the action when the Brotherhood takes over the world. I think she's fed up with her people being forced to live in the sewers. Don't let us catch you in here ever again. Alright, so looks like the door's open. You know, uh, it's pretty much good that we're starting this mission off here in the Morlock Haven instead of, you know, where we were in the first, you know, let me go ahead and start the small map. In the first, when we first came over here. Alright then, well with that being said, let's go over there and search for Mero. I mean, she's bound to be around here somewhere. I mean, it's, it's not like there's some type of mutant that could take her to another place or something, right? Right? Okay then, fine, screw it. Okay, I'm not even going to go ahead and talk to that guy. Wait, where the hell is the exact place to the next area? 
I'm not seeing it around here, honestly. Okay, then. There we go. There's the place. Perfect. All right, then. Let's go into the storm drain. So, I can already tell who we're going to be dealing with. We're going to be dealing with those... What, what did she call them again? Gene soldiers? Or, no, Gene army? Let's screw it. They're Morlocks. Okay, good. There's an extraction point. And there goes the brutes. They've returned. What? Well, seems they're going to be different because as you can plainly see, I've got Colossus here who's making them its bitch. So, yeah. Not so tough now going up against Colossus, huh? Oh, goody. So, golf. Okay, that one's gone. Let me go ahead and get this over here. All right, moving on deeper into the area. Okay, there's nothing over here that I should know about other than this rubble here that I want to destroy for some strange reason. Perfect. Oh, and there's these guys here too. Oh my god, I know you're not saying that, right? I know you did not say that after the way you're getting handled to. Okay, ooh, what's over here? Can I jump? Thank you, game. What's over here? Basic targeting. Oh, inventory's full. Why do I always tell myself to remind myself to always sell my items to healer if I'm not even going to do that? Basically pointless. Okay, so let's go through here now. And where are we here? Well, I do see a sketchbook over there, so I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Uh, crap, can I please? Thank you, AI. I mean, I know it's the next man, but AI is basically controlling them when I'm not controlling them. I mean, you guys already know this. All right, so let's go ahead and move over here now. Bring it on, Gene Joke. You know, for a woman who's pretty much got a small army... The army doesn't seem so small if you think about it. I mean, it looks like it's a somewhat of a huge army here. Nah, but screw it. What it actually defines a small army? Because, honestly, there's not really much that would define a small army. I don't think if there was ever really a discussion about that. Come on, big guy. All right, let's go ahead and create a wall here so we can get through and finish up up this guy here who's thought it was a good idea to come alone, huh? All right, so nothing over here I should know about. Nope, nothing over there and, and nothing over here. All right, good to know. Alright, shut up. Huh. Should have sworn there would be something over here. Like maybe it was like a danger room disc or something? Well, I guess not. Okay then. Fine, fine. Let's go through this door over here. Deal with more of these Morlock fools. Well, actually, the thing they can actually take down the X Men. Come on now, people. Be reasonable here. Realistic. The X-Men are hard to take down, okay? Come on. Wait, can I please get my hands on that guy? Wow, he's already down for the count. Real great. Well, there's a place to the next area, but hold on a second. Because I think there was another passage that I could have gone through. I just want to make sure I have everything and such. I mean, y'all know how this works, right? Let me switch over to Storm so I can fly. Y you know how in every stage there's always going to be some type of either a sketchbook, a comic book, or a danger room, or all of them. I don't think I went into all of the areas yet in this area here. So with that being said, I'll just go ahead and I'll fly it off real fast. I know it sucks having to backtrack in a game like this, but at least I took out all of the other enemies here. So that's a good plus.
All right, so you know what? Screw it. I uh, I think this is the wrong area here, actually. Because I've already got the one item in this area. And I never really dealt with having to deal with getting, uh, you know, two items in the same area, as far as I'm concerned. So with that being said, screw it. I'll just go ahead into the next area then. I apologize for wasting time here, people. I know you guys want to just see me go more further into this whole crappy place, but still, I just want to make sure. Wait, what the hell is this again? Opal of Anamonis? Okay, seriously, when I head to the extraction point, I'm going to sell my stuff. God, it can get so lonely and awkward here. There's no enemies around. All right, Influent Bypass. R Wait, that's really an area? Oh my God. Surprise and prize indeed. Oh, the Morlock Giant. Okay, a new enemy here. So, since we're dealing with giants, also going to have to be dealing with other new types of enemies. And at least there's a, you know, a good old-fashioned extraction point here. Okay, then. So, let me go ahead and I'll just go and visit. Uh, I'll visit Forge. Screw it. Hey man, got some stuff I want to sell you. Let me go ahead and sell you uh, the this. Uh, let me see, what can I sell you? I'll sell you this right here. I'll also go ahead and I'll sell you the body enhancer, focus enhancer, basic muscle accelerator, and what? Wait a minute, you mean to tell me that if I were to sell these to you, you would get no I get nothing from it? Oh wow. Okay then, fine. And I think that's going to be all I'm going to sell from you. Yeah, I'll stick it like this. Is there anything else you got that I can use, huh? Uh, nope, you got nothing. Okay, never mind. Perfect. Alright, so although I'm at the extraction point, I'll go ahead and I'll go a little bit more deeper into the play. I don't feel right about ending the episode here right now. Only when the plot really goes a lot more farther than right now. Well, I'll start ending the episode. Oh, she dodged that one. Okay. Anything in here I should know about? No other than an item I can't get my hands on. Oh, I actually can get my hands on. I forgot. I just sold some stuff to Forge. You're not walking away from that, buddy. You and your friend. God, this has basically been all X-Men here this past couple of minutes. Kind of sad here, too. And I think I actually had a problem with this when I was a little kid. Facing off against those brutes. Chill out, Colossus. You know I won't let you die while I'm controlling you. You ain't walking away from this. Okay, wait a minute. There might be something over here. Let's check around a bit. Oh, well, there's only a giant here. And unfortunately, there's the freaking... Wow. Okay, then fine. Can get to it. Hopefully I can with Storm's Lightning, and I was able to do so. Okay, good. Okay. Alright, there has to be something in his room right here. Come on. It just didn't develop this room here just for nothing, alright? Okay, then fine. There's really much no point of this room being here in the first place. Maybe it was to spawn the guy there? I don't know. Oh, here we go. Comic book. Perfect. 
Over in here? Alright, there's none in there neither. Alright then. Okay. I'll switch to the Gambit for a sec. I've been it's been a while since I played this Gambit. Who honestly, if you ask me, I think he's one of the most underrated X-Men. Hey, well look at what we got over here. It looks like we've got ourselves an uh, ambush coming afoot. You're in for a world of hurt. Hold on, can I attack from above while using... Yeah, I think I can do this. Oh my god. Yeah, you go ahead and keep on reviving your guys there down there. I'll just keep on using lightning. Wow. I just pretty much made what seems to be such a hard thing to deal with into an easy one. All thanks to good old Storm. God, you really are a valuable asset to the X-Men. I'll just take all these here, thank you very much. And I'm going to have to go ahead and use the lever to move on. There we go. Now the area is accessible. I'm just going to go over here and then. Oh, wait, wait, not the area I'm looking for. There we go. Here's what I'm looking for. Put a door. And we're going to the wastewater basin. Okay, then, fine. You're in for a world of hurt. Alright, so I see just some spikes down there, so I gotta make a note not to go down there. Otherwise I will lose some X-Men automatically. I need assistance. Come on. All right, so basically there's nothing in here then? Okay. It's an area of room here. Who said that? Is that a golf that said that? Okay, so I think there might be something down here. Let me check real fast. Yeah, I can go through this area. First, let me go ahead and deal with these guys here up top. Did you have a good fall? Is there something down here? No, nothing here neither. Okay, then fine. I know these things are optional, but I kind of like to make them a primary objective, if you know. Getting the items. Alright, we go down here. You ain't, you ain't walking away from this. Yeah, well, your friend said that earlier, and look how that went. All right, let's go ahead and follow the X. Because X marks the spot. God, maybe I overpowered my X-Men there. I mean, if that's the case, then I don't mind, but you know, I do want a challenge here. Okay, then, well, here's an extraction point here. All right, so we're near 30 minutes on this one, so I'll just go ahead and I'll end this episode right now, everyone. Next episode, I go more deeper into this mission and... Probably uncover some truths that eh, I think we all really don't care much, honestly. Thanks for watching, and be safe.